So uh, you might want to you might want to head in the direction of getting somebody to uh, who's local for the scribes. I am happy to do that in Vancouver, but um, I'm remote. <laughs> okay. Mo, I know you like chocolate. Are you doing morning or afternoon? I'll do afternoon. Okay. Um, who else? Pick somebody. Uh, you're an editor. It's not quite fair. It's going to be Victor or Suhas. You guys want to do it together? I can do morning and afternoon. It's fine. I, I can join more in the morning. Okay. Thank you. All right. Uh, I'm, the you. head shock should be there. And I'm. Okay. Everyone go to the head shock and sign the blue sheet. Put your name in. I don't have any internet. Oh, good point. Can you use the Is that yours? Yeah, it's a sheet of the mic. It's a sheet of your yellow. Perfect. Mic stand out. Okay. Mic stand out. Okay. Not circulate a yellow sheet. I mean, we can also get everybody in. Somebody can just type in the names of the 14 people in this room. Um, oh, I forgot to change the slide. Okay. So that's that's the that's the end of the presentation, um, is, or the, the chair slides rather. So, awesome. can you just put everybody that's in this room into the? Yep. Okay. 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 So, so everyone in this room, so else has got you on the blue. Who's talking? Uh, I think I'm starting because you still look like you're. Yeah, you're I have that slot. So okay. we can both talk, but you can present. Okay. Um, wow. Oh, oh, I'm not in the Google Meet. Is it in? Is it in Slack? Slack. Okay. Did we paste the Google Meet into Meet.go in case somebody shows up there looking for it? It is there. Okay. John says he's he at the door on the fifth floor. Fifth floor? Yeah, yeah, he brought it. Or did he tailgated somebody? <laughs> oh, is there a chair for John? John is sitting in the corner. <laughs> and take minutes. If he has a session move to not show up until the scribe Simon. What share? Hit uh, the share button. Yeah. And you can share an app for it. Sir, good way to go full screen. It's slideshow. Uh, slideshow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We good? Okay. Oh, do you want to talk about what a clarifying question is, Martin? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Sue Haas is out of the room. <laughs> I forgot to talk about that. <laughs> Actually, yeah. oh, shoot, I, I lost my agenda. I, I, I'm not went to my agenda right now. Um, oh, anyway, uh, you needed to talk about that? Yeah, uh, well, so I mean, I lectured everyone on rough consensus yesterday. Let's lecture everyone on clarifying questions. Um, you know, there's a joke in in like local government that, you know, people ask for public for like questions and like they're actually just comments disguised as questions. And I think there's a lot of that yesterday. Um, okay. Like, just be honest with yourself. <laughs> like, actually, like, just don't hide or critique at a question because that's that's not what it's for. Are you that's trying it. to understand something on a slide or understand something about a proposal? Ask the question. And, and yeah. so, look, like what I want to what I want to start with on here too is like, okay, this is going to be the key algorithm. We're going to turn a bunch of time on the slide. I'm going to show you some other slides we're going to get to you, so just you have an idea of what there's time for coming. Okay, like we're going to talk about expiration issues. We're going to talk about what the priorities apply to. We're going to talk about how it gets encoded on the wire. And talk about how it relates to quick string priorities, which we don't understand, the sort of code points, the range. This is the slide, like this is a trash fire. We'll talk about how priorities work in quick. Um, I, you know, some options that we decide we don't need. Um, how about tracks different namespaces, uh, equally in fairness? That's it. That's that's the slide by how. So those are all pretty specific issues, but they all tie back to at a high level. This slide determines the whole algorithm. We're going to spend a bunch of time on this, and then we're going to do a slide. We're going to walk through. Um, Will's got a really nice diagram here that helps show what happens if you follow this algorithm. So we can all be sure we really understand what we're talking about on this, and we'll we'll swap to him on that. We'll do this slide, then we'll we'll yeah. walk through examples of it in Will slides, and then we'll come back and hit some of the more detailed issues that go on that. Sound 
rational. Yeah. We should be slides anyway. They they are the same, they're in the same slide deck I shared yesterday. So yeah. it's, yeah. We're going to get these all in the data track. Mine or PowerPoint, so I'll need to push them somewhere. Just one note, take a question on the people to list. I listed everyone here on the remote. Are they going to add themselves? Or if they... you're remote, go into the hedge doc and add your name. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, and maybe somebody could just sort of check. I mean, chairs should check that the hedge doc ends up matching what you see on your Google. Okay, so uh, let's let's jump into to, to this. So, look, there's not a lot of surprises or changes here, but part of it was trying to get a little bit more specific in how we're picking things. Okay, so there's sort of some freaking. So this is first of all sort of trying to pick the track, and then inside the track is trying to pick the right, you know, the next object to send. And this is all about, you know, what's the next thing we send after we've sent that? We rerun this, to fix the next thing again. So there's sort of some preconditions. We ignore expired objects. We ignore object, we ignore tracks that have no objects to send. I mean, those, you know, sort of you can consider them part of this algorithm or not, however you want to think about that, but it, it's that's that's a precursor to this. Now, the, the next thing on selecting the track, we have this subscriber priority. Um, and that is the main, that is the high, like if that exists, it basically overrides the other stuff. We'll get into more detail, but, but roughly you use, if you have subscriber priorities, then you use that. If you don't have subscriber priorities, then we're, then you fall back to using the uh, end publisher priority. Um, so let's now. And if you don't have either, either you fall back to five. five yeah. Now there's a little bit more nuances. So at the high level, let me sound, see if that sounds about right, and we can jump into a little bit the nuances of of no preference and some issues like that. Is that like I think that we were all sort of roughly agreeing on that yesterday, anyway. So can I ask a clarifying question yeah, yeah. about what FIFO means here? Does it mean if we're talking about FIFO tracks? So is it yeah. like lowest subscribe ID or the order that's not subscribed? FIFO track. Yeah. Is it, yeah. Uh, this is says select track. track. Train order. This is select track. So it's how many track based on FIFO? What do yeah. I? What is? The I can question? show you in our diagram. Okay, okay I'll fun. hold my clarifying question. No, 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 it's a really good clarifying question. Okay, and so it's not here. But we'll answer it, and it becomes clear the diagrams too. Okay. But it is the track with the oldest object that hasn't been forwarded okay yeah for sure yes what happens if the subscriber did provide priorities for some track but not for all yes <laughs> we have a rule that if a subscriber provides a priority for one track it must provide priorities for all tracks can we just or it can all? provide priorities for no tracks but it cannot express one track has no preference and then then priorities for other tracks because it becomes impossible to resolve. Uh, okay. Yeah, right. Does no party mean default priority? Or is there a difference between default priority and no priority? Yeah. I mean, I, I, well, there, we, there, yes, there is a difference between there. Um, and then, so it, yeah, it was like uh, default slide. So we're, we're proposing that the subscribe priority is a far end. Zero is a reserved value, meaning I have no preference. And then larger values after that mean higher priority. Lower priority, sorry. So one is your highest priority, two is lower, 10,000. Lucas. So there's a difference, but you can say you can say I have no preference, which is is basically um uh, the, well just for no default's gonna kick in at that point. Uh, just before we jump to Lucas, right, and just to, to get back to Christian's question, the if you're a subscriber, you need to either you, you either say, need to say no preference for every track. Or you need to set something other than zero for every track. Yeah. Okay. So that's, yeah. Clarifying then, question. Yeah. The um the, the first statement is space to send on the outbound connection, but does that mean does that really mean that like stream flow control would allow you to send data on that stream or not? I'm just wondering like do you do you go and start indexing through these steps to only to pick something and realize, oh shoot, I couldn't send anything on that track anyway. I'm gonna like backtrack up and then take a different path. No, I think this was <laughs> when the congestion window opens and says that you can send something, then you 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 know you you, you go through and do this. If it it opens up enough not to send your highest priority, but your next highest priority. Uh, Hold on. No. Several several people. Yeah, I saw sorry. Christian, and yeah. then Victor, and then Daniel. So first, uh, when Karen says, when the, when the, the, the control, control, control yeah. window open, uh, I 
I, I hear really when the congestion window allows it and the flow control also allows it. Yes, okay. okay. Uh, okay, Victor. What he said. <laughs> yeah, uh, sync look is meant specifically flow control because congestion control is yeah, I mean, global, but flow control can block you from high priority strings. So it's string flow control. So you can yeah. have priority inversion where spin design control does not lead to. Yeah, that. If, if, if that happens if the guy doesn't consume the data. Yeah. Yeah, that's. Yeah. Okay, uh, sorry, uh, Daniel, something? As a slight tangent one, but if we make the all or nothing on subscriber um, priorities, do we have the same rule for publisher priorities or a similar rule? Um, I, I think I think we were. We may not have this in the text, but I I know what I was thinking. I need to check. Will's on the same page here, but on publisher priorities, just must always be set, and there is no you know must set them something. You're welcome. You to can set no preference yeah. as a publisher. It's the same borrowing scheme as the as the subscriber uses, but you must set something that's subject to the same rules. Either you declare no preference for everything you're publishing, or you set an explicit priority preference. Um, not take a question. So we are saying there's no preference, there's zero and some numbers. Zero is a special reserved zero value, numbers. meaning I have no preference. And zero. any number after that. Okay. okay. Larger okay. values mean lower priority. And Luke and then maybe you and Victor. We're still, we're still clarifying. I think President yeah, stream flow control. I'm just going to clarify. Yeah, the stream flow control and this connection flow control. So in okay. theory, stream flow control could prevent the highest priority stream from sending any data. But that's true and quick in general. You kind of have to loop through in just in the order. That really happens if the scene is actually not reading it, stuff. Well, if, if they just said yeah. spring, yeah, well, they're not reading. Well, so like, I, the maybe, priority, I think yeah. we're going down. I, maybe if we just say, like, ignore tracks with no object to send or where you cannot send because of flow control. Yeah, like, pretty you much. can't send where you can't send. Oh, no need. Yeah, and you may not be able to send. You may be out of screen flow control. If you're out of connection flow control, you can't send anyway. Um, Except data grams, and uh, if yeah. you're out of um, if you're out of the ability to create new streams, that may also impact based on border yeah. problems, what you can pick. So let's just assume that we're only looking at things that can actually be sent right now. Does that answer anybody's question? Can we move on yeah. from this? Yeah. That's not a clarifying question, but <laughs> it was <laughs> clarifying. <laughs> well, it was a clarifying answer. <laughs> so Victor, you have a different thing to say. Do you have a room? Yeah. <laughs> so why do we just state of zero when we can just let the people that unset? Okay, that doesn't sound like a clarifying. Look, so the, we, 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 we can zero don't. is our way of saying the field is unset. If we actually have, if our if you're, you're deep into the protocol wiring coding, I don't how, care how we spell this. We'll sort that out. Okay. So we, the, the logic, logically, what we have here is we have an, an integer value of some sort that's a priority when you have it, and we have some way of indicating you have no preference, which okay. Will describes as, as putting a zero in that integer. But like we could cut it that's, differently. That's, that's like you yeah. could, we could use max int. You can use okay. No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, back, back again. <laughs> Do you have more? So, look, I, I, just, well, I don't, I want to make sure we don't lose from the, I mean, I think that the, the point people were saying about no objects to send, um, or, or, or the tracks wouldn't, or, 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 you, or the stream would not allow you to Resources send. prevent you from sending it. That, that is fine. It seems like a great change to this algorithm and improve it. Um, but what I was trying to, back to the original question was somewhat on the thing of, you know, Let's say you have enough space to send one of a low priority small object, but not enough space to send a high priority big object. What we're what, what our proposal here is very crisp. You don't send you don't send anything. You wait until you have enough space to send the high priority object. You don't try and do that. Mm. And anything other than like like if people have stuff other than that, I look forward to write, seeing it written down in a way that priorities don't become completely meaningless. Are you clarifying questions, gentlemen? Yeah. Yes, but the, yeah. <laughs> so, I think Mo was first. Uh, and is this all strict priority? And, and you do this at an object level every time you have any transit yep. window? Yep. Yeah, okay, can I clarify your clarifying question? Are you asking, are, do objects need to be sent in their entirety, or can you send half an object? No, I'm, I'm, fine. I'm, That's I'm, not your question? Okay. I'm, I'm thinking gaming it. It gives me an incentive to send many small objects. Because I get, I get, if I'm, yeah, yeah, right. All the time. <laughs> okay. Victor, why? 
Then we have somewhere else here. Don't we still have the point of like when you start sending an object, you send the whole object and then you're yep. no, we don't have that. But okay. John, I'm, did I hear you? So I'm just trying to understand what you said there. You said that if you have if you don't have enough room to send the high priority object, do not That's send the, No, no. You oh, should start sending the thing. high priority object. Don't. What I said is, you don't. We are, this does not have some weird ass thing where, like, well, that one looks like it's too big. We're going to send the smaller one instead. Yeah. So you you're not doing funny things. So you're not doing that. You start sending the larger, so the, the object that is the highest priority. Okay. 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 And the opposite. That? That yeah, sense. that's a little different. Yeah, that makes okay. sense. Ian. That makes sense. Okay. Um, I I thought I understood, and then now I'm I'm realizing I didn't understand uh, from earlier today, but. Why? I I think this text says you can mix having a subscriber specified priority with a publisher specified one because it's basically like one number just overrides the other number. Yeah. Is yes. I think what what but then you said you shouldn't mix having a session a mock session with subscriber driven priorities that some have subscriber driven priorities yeah. and some don't have any preference stated. But I don't know why. Like, isn't it fine if, like, if I'm happy with the publisher priorities, then, like, I can use them. And then if I'm unhappy with them, like, my value just, like, overrides it. Well, I'm going to write them, it's fine. You can do that partially, though. Huh? You can do that partially. Right. No, you can't. Like, well, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's just a number. You get into yeah. trouble. So it's fine saying, like, I've got three tracks. Two of them I have a preference for. The other I don't. I want to inherit the publisher preference. But if the publisher also had no preference for that track, which you don't know, now you're left with this difficult prioritization decision. You don't think the publisher should be allowed to not have a preference. <laughs> <my God>. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, no, we can solve this. Like, no. Okay. 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 So, yeah, I mean, it, it, basically, what uh, I was thinking is that very often your priorities are basically high, middle, low. Yeah. And if we had the default equal middle, then those things sort naturally because if you have a default, you get middle. And then within the, the track at the middle level, you get the prioritization by the completion. Luke? Oh, I was just going to uh, clarify the. Uh, anyway, never mind. Okay. 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 There's not a clarifying question. I'm responding to you. Okay. okay. Well, I'm wondering would it help to just let Colin and, and Will just talk through the whole slide and maybe no clarifying questions till the end? Or is it, are, you, are, you, are you happy with writing well, down these we, things? We, like, we're, we've sort of. We sort of have, let's on the, the flat one we're on the first bullet point selecting the track to send next right i mean maybe we should move on just sort of discussing what other options you know discussing that from clarifying questions at that point and then we'll move on to move okay if you're happy point. with what you're okay, the progress you're making is fine so, so to give you guys let's, a let's chance fine box this for 10 minutes or so here of, of, of you know what okay. you know, like people like yeah we'll say what say we want is this we seem reasonable for this stage of the algorithm okay all right yes Fair enough. All right, so, so we're talking about the first three bullet points. We're open for discussion, John. Uh, first three bullet Yes. Well, yeah, I, don't know if, I don't know if my response falls on here, so tell me if it doesn't. Well, I mean, it's the thing. As long as it's about selecting which trap to send. It's what we've actually it's discussed. Cool. Thank you. Okay. So, so when uh, responding to Ian's point about, you know, can we not allow the partial, what I think of as a, a subscriber expressing reference on some of the tracks? I would I strongly discourage against doing partial stuff because you end up merging a subscriber's priorities with uh, 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 publisher's priorities, and that gets weird because they can have very different relative views. Like for example, a subscriber, a publisher could simply say that I have no preference by saying one to everything because that does that does turn into effectively uh, equal preference at that point. It, it's slightly different. I'm just saying that this, a publisher could do that. And then when a subscriber says it's one, two, and three, it means something slightly different. I just uh, think that priorities are always relative. And when you have two things that aren't synchronized in what they're relative to, it doesn't make sense. Otherwise, you have to expressly state what the semantics of each one of these priorities mean. You can't simply say two or three and one and two are the same, uh, because that's how it otherwise would be clear. Okay, hold okay, so on. I, I respond, respond to that comment. So put me on the queue for that. Yeah, okay. Uh, let me just let you know. So there I have Victor Mo, Suhas, Alan, Will, and then I insert myself. Just 
Oh, that's not so good to say same thing as kind of like they actually drew that example on the whiteboard that like if you have one, two, three on one side and ten, twenty, thirty on the other side, and you make one of those optional merging this is extremely painful. Okay. Uh, uh, you can take me off the list because it was okay. Well, <laughs> take me off. <laughs> thank you. Th thank you for not reiterating what was just said. Too okay, us. I, I think uh, probably we should. We are this assumption here in uh, both Janice and and, uh, um, and Victor's point that the number space are different from the subscriber and publisher. Oh, right. If they both are in the same scale, it does not matter. It if is. an application like a WebEx application that's trying to have the publishers and subscribers across the world, they would not use subscribers to pick a different number range and publisher to pick a different number range. So I would basically play a to Ian saying that if subscriber does not specify anything, we should just go with the original priority, as long as the number spaces are in the same range. And we should make that as a requirement for the project. OK, Colin? OK, so I mean, I'm, I'm in, in almost every use case that's been brought up in this working group, the priorities will be highly synchronized between the publisher and the, the receiver. So I'm not saying every use case, but in most of them, like, you know, like YouTube knows, the YouTube client knows what the YouTube publisher does, not like totally random, right? And same with WebEx or whatever. So I find these use cases pretty fringy at best. So what I, and the thing is, is you always can set all of them. So I, I think what we should do is we should get rid of like the sort, like I should, I think we should say the publisher needs to always set a priority for everything. It can't say no preference. And the subscriber, um, I, I mean, obviously it needs to be, to be able to do no preference for everything and just do what the publisher is. But I, I think that we should either go down, it's either um, specified for everything, um, or it just accepts that its numbers need to be coordinated with the numbers at the far end if it, sets, if it leaves some of them as no preference. And that we do compare, we do end up comparing the this, in that case we didn't. Or just say you can't do it. Say the subscriber, if it sets anything else, yeah. set everything. I'm fine with that. I can't I imagine a change in that case. case. Yeah. Okay, just a few. So that was uh, Colin, then I've got after I'm going to say something, and then Ian, Christian, John, and Luke will ask yes, anything. Um, okay, uh, as an individual, uh, I think I wanted originally I wanted to say get rid of no preference, but I think I do want it, but I would also sort of just let you have it be like Public, if, uh, one on publisher or subscriber. Publish, it's fine to mandate the publisher send something. Yeah. Uh, I think it's and the subscriber, I guess, can say no preference, but I think you would also want. To just not not have this rule about if you say no, you have to say all all have to be set or all have to be no I preference. I would remove that and just like you get what you get and don't throw <laughs> like if it hurts to hit yourself in the hammer, don't do it. Um, <laughs> I'll make this a Google Doc. Yeah, I, we I, can post it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if it's dumb, don't do it. Like it hurts. Like as, as a client, like you know the information. Like you're in complete control in, in theory. So like I, I think it's fine. You're not merging them. You're just like. The client's basically saying, like, I don't like what the server said, so like I'm changing it, like, and it has to accept it. I think the the only, and I think that works fine. I think like for a wide range of use cases, um, I'm still, and I know we haven't gotten to delivering within a track, but I'm still like having a difficult time reasoning about whether the behavior is what we want if we have the priority on a per stream header basis. And potentially different streams have different priorities within the track that gets completely wiped out when the subscriber like overrides with a different number. It gets like that information goes from there to not there. Yeah. And like if there's I, I think there's two states in the world. Either either we think like it's fine to just put one priority on an entire track and that's probably good enough, or we think we really need this like per stream header priority thing. In which case, um, I think the uh, client wiping out the subscriber's preference is probably not what we want, or maybe. You said client wiping out subscriber. Is that well, what you're yeah, Publisher, sorry. I apologize. I misspoke. Can I, uh, yeah, yeah. So I think I think I know. So we, we did a while back, we talked about an alternative algorithm sort of along those lines a little bit, which was, which I think what it is the is you don't the subscriber priority gets concatenated right. as the high bits and the publisher priority gets put into the low bits okay. so the the so the proposed alternative algorithm here would be um the subscriber still determined which track was going to happen 
but if if the subscriber put two things as equal then what's happening inside of those defaults down to the lower order bits which were sent by the publisher right so it's it's very close to what we have on the screen here mm -hmm. but it's a little bit more subtle on it still uses the publisher with it if the subscriber bits are the same yeah right and, and that, it, i think that's where you're going with in that. general i'm okay with the override thing i'm just trying to like as i said if, if the priority is varying within the track like and the override like nukes that I, I just can't like I, it seems like we're we're losing that chunk of one because the priority sorry the publisher can make them equal to right. maybe i'm missing something like right that time we could also talk about it but i'm just yeah. yeah christian i am uh, worried about uh, nuclear energy well atomistic <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was funny <laughs> <laughs> uh, because you say that the, the, the subscriber must set all priorities, but if the priorities are already there, the conference is running, and the subscriber realizes that he wants to look at Alan, not at the current speaker, and the subscriber priority default to the, we want to look at the current speaker, then the subscriber will say, oh, I need to say something that changes there. I need to override well, I would be because I want to look at Alan, not the current speaker. He, 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 would, he can do an operation that says Alan's video has higher priority, but he cannot do an atomic operation that says Alan has a higher priority and everybody else has priority. Now. I got you. I got you. So, so I mean, the saying we must say all, we cannot actually. Mm -hmm. We cannot. There will be always twenty in state in which some are not set. Anna. So I I did say earlier uh, that it should be all or nothing, and I'm through this discussion at least it's becoming clear to me that there's a way to not do all uh, to not do all. And and as Kristen is pointing out, you might not be able to do all. In fact, I think I want to say that the text here on bullet three in particular actually alludes to the way in which you can merge this. It's in theory, at least, what Cullen just said, which is the upper bits are subscriber priority, the lower bits are publisher priority. What that does specifically is that it it makes the subscriber priority trump the publisher priority. And that is the value of that, in which, which case, if you are saying that subscriber priority is always more important than publisher priority, and when not present, you use publisher priority, then that's a way to merge them. This is what I was saying earlier, that if you don't have a good understanding of the semantics of these two spaces and in this case we are creating that we are saying that one of them trumps the other and that's good enough then yes you can absolutely merge priorities even if they are partially well you're already in clar you. well clarifying yeah, clear. On. i just want to say one thing so yeah. yeah um one of the things that i want to make sure is that we have good reason for allowing the subscriber to only uh, uh, state partial priorities because if not, we end up in this world of pain again, where a subscriber just like does something and then throws his hands up and goes, "We'll see what happens now." And this is the HTTP world, right? Like we don't want to end up in that world. I would like to be able to be prescriptive and error rather than be uh, be open and ambiguous. So we should try to be as prescriptive as we can be and have a very clear understanding of what this lead, what behavior this leads to because we have to be able to edit out if that doesn't happen. Um, that's one thing I'll note, that we shouldn't simply say the relay will do what the relay will do. That's always true. But we should also be able to tell the relay bad relay. And that's a thing that we we should at least aspire to. Luke. Uh, clarifying question. Are we doing clarifying questions or opinion? No, this is no. Discussion. discussion. too. Discussion. OK, so my thing is uh, subscriber priority just should be required. like. Don't even have a null option. If there's a tie, you can use the publisher preference to break it. And that's what we're talking about with the upper and lower bits effectively. Like if I say subscribe priority three for two tracks, the publisher could then either do whatever it wants or the same thing they're saying. Use the low bits. Or just use the low bits. I'm saying don't have a null option. Like literally always require it. And if there is a tie, then you can break the tie with publisher priority. Are doing discussion without going through the whole thing? We're doing it on we're discussion on the first we're discussion on the tracks so like track next yeah and it's so time so calling minus we'll, one minute where, where's the 10 minute mark would you want to go forward it's and, been one week <laughs> right, well there's like still six people in the queue so this is another 10 minutes
Okay. Let's, let's do it. But Go for let's it. try and be brief. Well, uh, yeah, just when we're, I, I quite like the idea that we, we mandate that you must supply them. And if you supply equal ones, you're essentially inheriting the publisher. But in the case where I, I supply one of them and I inherit a subset of them, I'm only inheriting the lower bits, right? I'm not inheriting the actual values because the number space might be different and it might actually mess up what I'm thinking. Like the publisher is using 10, 20, 30, I'm using one, two, three. I inherit a number that I think is the lower, what I thought was my highest priority now becomes lower than the publisher. So we must just be careful when we say we merge, right? We, we just merge the lower bits. We don't actually inherit the publisher supplied best. That was solvable. Lucas, the tool. Hello. So um, just more of a comment really, like in the HTTP world, uh, we 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 have a, 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 a subtle difference between uh, indicating what your priority of a stream is versus actually signaling that explicitly on the wire. So by that I mean, you know, emission of an explicit signal is still a signal. Uh, <laughs> so, for example, the default for for extensible priorities is is uh, urgency three incremental false. Um, sending that when it's the default is a waste of bytes, right? It, and it, you could argue it's a micro-optimization or something, and fine. If we want to explicitly send things all the time, that's fine. I, I don't care, but I, I do agree in the sense that everything should should have an explicit value or a value that is known to everyone, even if it's not sent on the wire, if that makes sense. Like, because you know, by and large, what the feeling I'm getting from this this algorithm is like you can kind of get away with the defaults you're going to just serve things fifo generally and it and things will just work okay and if everyone's sending like values that are like i'm doing the the sensible default thing it's kind of just a waste and a bit of noise so i, I just wanted to make sure the discussion when we send you sending a priority are we literally talking about sending that or or not and that's different from not having a preference it's just emitting redundant data. Uh, yeah, I wanted to comment. This is Ian brought something a little while ago, which is like, why do we have any information within the track? But I guess I just view that information as not part of track selection, right? So like there's slightly priority. Do you think you're in the queue? Or you said, yes, I think so. Oh, I, well, you're not, but you are now. Okay. Um, <laughs> so I think, I think it's a, you're, you are, you are in the queue. It's me, Victor, Colin, Christian, Ian. And then we should close the queue. Um, so I just think that that's why the, I think that you, so I think both worlds can coexist, that you you just don't use those, like anything that's set on like a per group basis is not part of track selection. Track selection comes only from this other. It's not part, part of track selection. It's not part of track selection. So there's At least a, that's my understanding. That's not, well, that's what I was trying to, I was going to make a clarifying example and like walk through with people, but I'm. Yeah, well, question? maybe other people think that it is. I don't know. That's why I'm actually. I think this is really. I think track selection is based on a new priority that the, the draft is not. Maybe he's eliminating something. Okay, let me just. If people are okay with it, but I just have one other thing I want to say, which is that I'm, which is a little bit, like I've heard a couple times yesterday and today this idea that like, if you somehow asked for, if you sent some priority and the server didn't want to do it, that some of the server you have to like, the server has to be able to tell you like, by the way, I, I'm not following the standard algorithm or something, and I. We can discuss that later. I don't think we should open that can of worms now, but I really think that we need to come that's, to some agreement. That is that... nowhere in any of the proposals. Okay, so I thought I heard someone fight against something. Okay, that's not good, here. good. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Server's going to do what server's going to do. I'm going to no, no, we're not on okay. that either. All right, server's good. not going to do what the server's going to do. <laughs> the, word, the server's going to do this. <laughs> okay, I want to come back to that, but I like um, I want I understand why you want to say that. I want to come back to. It. I don't want to just derail yeah, this yeah. discussion. So, like, that's all I wanted to say. Okay. You know, you're going to clarify things for us. I was, yeah, I was, I was, yes. So original publisher priority, is that the field on the stream or is that the field? That's the field on the stream, right? The, the thing that I'm yeah. trying to the, the head of the head of the stream. So yeah, it's this thing. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Great. So now I have my clarified question that I'm like really baffled by, but I'm like fascinated about. Okay. So we have four groups in a buffer and uh, track one and track two. Um, this is priority one. Uh, this group, group is priority one. That group is priority two. This group is priority two, that group is priority one. Um, so do I send this and then this and then this and then this? I think that's a <laughs> <laughs> one higher priority. 
And that, Pete, this is supposed uh, to pick your track, right? This what, so this is higher priority. These two are high priority, and these two are high priority. And this yeah. arrived early. These two arrived at approximately the same time. Yeah. These two arrived at approximately the same time. Look, great question, complicated. Can we defer that for a while here? And yeah, we're not talking about about group priorities yet, right? Well, mm -hmm. but, but we're we sort of are. Well, so this original publisher priority was a new field. That was like in the track in Bo or something. Like, right, okay. Then I totally get how this algorithm. I mean, it has to be. If this is not of this is not. It's it's not, of this it, it is not. It is not. Can we please? That is a whole different topic. Let's get to it later, and we'll come back to this. Okay. I, I, okay. I mean, we have a whole slide on okay. where this data goes. So, is okay. it, all right. Is it fair to say that we are talking about the idea of track priorities, but you haven't quite decided exactly how to encode it yet? We have another slide on where it goes encoded. Yeah. 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 Victor, and and I think that the, uh, in you're on a really real point. So yeah, I just don't want to attack it quite. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah. Victor, Victor. Uh, I have brain points first. Jana, I actually I think explains a scheme yesterday as tuples, but I am more leaning in favor of Will's simpler approach of like you take all or nothing or maybe sometimes you do all or something and that something that you miss will live in some weird and funky behaviors that you should not do but if you do you do it uh but like because just that that just seems to be simpler and you only need to keep track of one priority instead of both uh, the second point i was going to make is about the christian use case of making active speaker i think there is a value in like being able on publisher to signal that this uh, uh track should be moved from not very useful priority band to useful priority band but i'm not quite sure that this is should be addressed with like this mechanism i think we should like figure out this Later, how how we can do this, and I have some ideas. But like, if we try to do that, it would make things even more confusing than they already are. Mm -hmm. uh, this third one is about. Uh, I think it was about this. Like my observation is like I said, you should either do it all or nothing. And my other observation is, you should probably capital should. Uh, uh, have like strict ordering of priorities on all streams because this way you avoid things like that and like uh, if you don't you might get there's some really weird funky behavior here so just, just you mean, so on on uh, sh should have strict priorities on publisher or subscriber uh priority is not a useful word unfortunately for uh, okay so <laughs> on publisher like if, if you're setting priorities it should be strictly ordered. Yeah. Meaning so are, are, are we sorry. leading into intra track again? Under what? Intra track in, within, within yeah. a track? Yeah. No, I don't know or not. Wait, but did you say streams or track? Do you mean track streams? Stream. 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 Oh, sorry, I meant tracks. Okay, okay. just check it. So yeah. you said that there should be no way that two tracks have the same priority? Yeah, so, so, so that just like would lead you to better outcomes or predictable, notably outcomes. But that doesn't so, mean to, 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 to second. I, I didn't. Maybe I didn't understand what you meant by strict. That means everyone has a different one, or uh, everyone has one and nobody has a no preference. Uh, it, it means that when you're a publisher, you don't have the same two tracks of same priority. Okay. Uh, because the, that leads to uh, unpredictable and potentially uh, break a lot of things. Right. You can always call. <laughs> it's called in Christian, and we close the key, so we'll kind of take that. Call after that. Okay, so um, I found Christian's statement about like you started with effectively no preference and then decided there was one track that you wanted to move up to a high preference. I find that was a really compelling argument. Totally agree, right? So um, I think that we should go. Um, I, I I I would argue that we should go with the the publisher needs to always put in a numeric preference. I'm fine with it putting in two tracks the same, um, though I agree that might get you know, you'll get what you get when that happens, right? You've lost some control. Um, so that the, the publisher is always putting that in and the subscriber can either say nothing about the track, in which case it gets the publisher, um, or it can say something. Now, I will point out that the subscriber 
if it's if it's the case like Christian's talking about where you're already receiving some streams, you know what the publisher set the priority of what those streams are. You know what those values yes. are if you want to look at them mm. and do something. Right. One. Nobody well, just maybe. sends one everywhere. Right. Nobody just sent one everywhere. Highest priority. Yeah, sure. You so you know, know that it, right. you so, want to be higher than that. You're screwed. No, you're not. No, no, no. You're not. It's because because it's subscriber always. Oh, oh, I see. I see. I see. Your one is better than. I see. So you'll 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 set them all to two and then set one of them to one. You're going to want to be two or whatever. Yeah. But, yeah. So okay. So, okay. Fair, fair but like, I'm I'm like I just like I think we should just go for a simple yeah. algorithm that does that, and I'm fine with the okay. change. I, I definitely <laughs> think that we just need ones where the the I I think we should get rid of the no preference. Like, I don't know. We should just, like, it's certainly no preference on the publisher side. On the subscriber side, if you say a preference, then you get what you get. And, and it, it, you know, on, on what happens, and that's fine. I do the lower bits of a bits thing. Yeah. Lower well, bits, fine. Yeah, so Chris, Chris, Chris is last one in the queue, and then we'll yeah. take okay. it down. Yeah. So, so basically, what I think we are missing there is the subscriber setting a default priority. Basically saying, okay, uh, I will give you priorities for the tracks I really care about. And for all the tracks, I apply this default priority. And the subscriber will typically put that somewhere in the middle. So it can say, some tracks I want higher priority than the, the, what the publisher said. Some tracks I want lower priority because I really don't care. And then, mm -hmm. then instead of having just a WR, effectively some kind of a, of a tree and the other, the first layer of priority from the publisher and branching from that, you have to buy this one of a breacher. And that gives you a full order. And that gives you a full order in which the whole preference can be expressed. The question for the scribe question. So you're saying instead of no preference, you should have a default priority. Is that what you're saying? Which is sort of that was Lucas's awesome. point from earlier. Like yeah. in HTTP, yeah. even if you don't say, you got like the it says like yeah. not yeah. saying yeah. equals three. I, 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 just, just for the clarification yeah. here, right? I, I thought that I heard like two different things here. One is that we are saying subscriber prefers what publisher set. And another thing I'm hearing is that subscriber uh, does not want to say anything about, but it wants a default priority. I think the two different. Uh, I think what Christian said is the way if you set things the same, if the subscriber sets the same, that was like the tree. That's like one branch of the tree. And then that means publisher priorities will be used because yes. they're all equal on the relay side. Yes. So I think it's kind of the same thing. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. So let's let's wrap. Let's let me ask some questions here to try and see where, where we have a consensus on some of this. Is trying to be important. Okay. So it seems that we've come around. Um, so let me see. Is there sort of agreement that the publisher should always have to set a priority? Which may, if they set it all to three or whatever we consider the default value, may not be encoded on the wire for for saving space or whatever. But that you know, logically, the publisher is always setting a value. If anyone thinks that's bad, say so now. Okay. Okay. The the no, one, yeah. no one said that was bad. Okay. Um, so, one, one yeah. so let me, uh, you, what you're typing, I'll sort of set up the next okay. question here a little bit, right. which is more towards um, what's going to have uh, two. So, when we have this subscribe, I'm ignoring the no preference thing on the subscriber for a second. So, if the subscribers provided some numbers and the publishers provided some numbers, um, one thing we can do is the proposal that was on the slide here was simply we just use the subscribe that the, 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 we use the subscriber numbers and if they're equal then we fall to the publisher numbers for a tiebreaker. Um, the other thing that we could do, that we could do is put those as the high order and low order bits and a number and then use the number. Same, 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 same thing. thing. Same thing. Same thing. Okay. okay. Does okay. anyone think that's bad? Uh, okay. Well, it's it's the same thing. Yeah, yes. Same thing. It's okay. Well, I, I can see a case where it's bad, right? Where I, I can't do something as a client. I, as a client, want these two things to be equal. I want to force that as best we can. Let's ignore how to achieve that. And I don't want it failing over to what the publisher said, which may not. Ah. Uh, yeah, you can I, do I that. Want equality. That, that, you can do that. That, that. That's pretty much what I was saying. I mean, there should be a mark that says. This, if I put this value, then within that value, you use the publisher. That's why I created no preference. No, no preference, preference says, fine, use the publisher. But when I express a but, preference, but they're equal. The, 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 the difference, Will, is that 
if we have this default value, which is typically the middle value, then I can, as a, as a subscriber, force something to be higher or lower. If I say, if I don't say anything with the publisher, then we get also the ranking between the tracks of the publisher, including the one I care about. We, is there a queue? Yeah, it's my head, Jana. Okay. Um, so the one thing we have to be clear about is this. If you're requiring that the publisher publish priorities, and if the publisher has expressed uh, that two things, one, one of them is better than the other, higher than the other, and then the subscriber says these two are equal to me, then the, the emergent property here is that one of them will be higher than the other because you're merging the priorities. That's what I was saying earlier. If you, if you, if you want to, uh, if, if you want to completely trump these, uh, the publisher's right. priorities, then you need oh, your right. client to express all priorities again. Otherwise, you're going to end up in all kinds of weird situations. Not so, necessarily. You can express no preference, which means unwilling to be unwilling to take the publisher one. So I think it's uh, no, that's fine. That's fine. So there are a few things here. If we're talking about multiple things here, one of them is semantics, the other one is encoding. And I want to again separate those things. Yeah, so like let's, just, let's just do semantics, semantics yeah. first. Yeah. And let's not talk about what numbers are being expressed yeah. and not expressed on the wire. As long as they're interpreted in a certain way, I don't care if they express on the wire or not, as long as they're interpreted in one way. So don't care is still a preference. It translates to a number at some point because it's either a number or it's a decision in a decision tree. Either way, you can just think of it as a number because it is ultimately that, right? It's going to be higher or lower. Other things are going to be higher or lower than it, no preference. So if you think about no preference, if you want to express that this particular piece is higher, higher is comparative. It is higher than something else, always. If everything else is no preference and one of them is higher, what you've done is expressed a priority that you have everything else is lower and this one is higher. So no preference will translate to something as soon as you have a preference about one single thing. That's what I want to say. You want to be clear about that. You can't express priority for just one thing and no priorities for the rest of them because in expressing priority for that one thing, you express priorities for the rest of them as well. Yeah. It's always complete. Okay. Picture? <laughs> So I have Victor, Luke, and then myself. Yeah, uh, I, I, I think that, like, I, yeah, I think we should probably actually do the triple team. So the nice thing about the triple team is you can, when something is not specified, you can just assign default value. Let's say if they're assigned, you assign them to zero. And that has very nice behavior that, like, on subscriber, you can now bump your to one and your like for one track and so it overrides everything. But by default, like subscriber doesn't need to do anything and it's everything is in like a zero comma publisher priority bucket. Uh, and I say it is true that you cannot uh, override tracks to be equal in that setting. And I consider that to be a feature, not a bug. You don't want to be able to set things to be perfectly equal from the client, you're saying? Yes, because. Okay, so the, the, let, me, let me raise a question I think is that it gets to exactly the heart of this, which is, do we need the ability to, um, and, and I'll, I might take two passes on getting this question right, but basically, do we need the ability for the publisher to say that two tracks are not equal, but the subscriber to override that and say, I want them to be treated equal? Right. We can obviously say we are going to be treated higher or lower, but be able to say that they'd be treated. Do you want to show of hands on that question? I mean, I think that that's. I know we'll feel strongly about it, but, but can, was will you want to? You know, was, but can you say a little bit like why? 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 Because uh, can people who yeah, think that's an important use case say why, I, I, and then let's vote on it. I, I want two two videos to be displayed relatively equally, right? As as best they can. And your point was, well, I'd rather have one. I I don't want both of them rebuffering. I'd rather have one. I think that's a separate. Separate. I, I can force that as a client by setting one of them to higher priority, yep. right? But I should say that these are these are these have equivalency. I I don't agree with Victor's point that it's a feature that I can't assign things equal. I, I don't see the utility. The publisher said that they're not right. Right. Some degree, like you try to force around Robin behavior um, when the publisher is explicitly saying it's like this is more important. Yes, I'm a publisher weird. and I'm dealing. Like, with... Picture publisher. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm a publisher and I've got two universes of clients, right? But I've only got one set of priorities. I know half my clients want B over A, the other half want A over B. I've got to pick one. I only have one property to set. But, 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 so I set but, one. But, but, well, the use case you just described was not the client said, send them to me equally. They said, send A over B or B over A. That's not the use case no. we're talking here. We definitely support the use case. I didn't case say that. Described. So right. give us the use case and not in, I want this video to build, but the, the, the in a, user experience use case, like a real I, use I case. I want two videos equally equal priority, even though the public just said one should be higher priority than the other. Why would the public tell me the application that wants two videos equal, that would tell me the application that would prefer to get neither video than one of the videos. No, it's it's not an assumption that you're going to get neither. If, if, I, if, if you're going to get both, it doesn't matter what you sent the priorities as, you'll get both. I, 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 it absolutely so doesn't matter. The question is not congestion, transient congestion, and, and then you're only get only during congestion. Like, otherwise, you get yes. everything. You get everything all the time. In, yeah. in this condition point we're talking about, right there, you can't decide to send both. You get one frame here, one frame here, one frame here. Yeah, yeah. But what charred experience? I'm telling you. This goes back to one of your principles, Adam. Oh, good. <laughs> this is no. Really, <laughs> it's a, <laughs> <don't know>. it's, <laughs> it's a it's a zero sum game basically. You're not, if you're going to get both and you prioritize one over the other, it fucking doesn't matter because you're going to get both. Yeah. Right. But this, it's, okay. only when you, it's, only, it's, it's only when you can only get one that you prioritize. All right. You break it down. But can yeah. I answer Colin's question? I have the use case. Like, okay. It's, it's not video, okay. it's a file download. And I want to be my file download, even though it's not coming in real time anymore. I want it to progress equally. Yeah. Because it's it's rendered it's graphics for my no, video game, is, and I need is, both of them equally. Important. Victor. Uh, it's very hard to follow the time we have left to hear that they get to select the most and month <laughs> different things. Yeah, but you were talking about interjected for working group. Uh, fortunately, unlike web transport, I don't think anyone uses MOQ for bulk data downloads. And as specifically, I pointed out our number one use case is delivering things that are generated on fly on time. And also, almost all applications, as Colin yep. directly points out, mm -hmm. Things are only useful when they're fully received, at least the object. And it's almost certainly for file transfers, too. They're only useful yes, when they are received. Made so. <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, it, it is. Yes. It, all right, I'm trying to, trying to restore order here. Luke. Yeah, so uh, first thing, I think to, to Will's point, if you think the tracks could be equal, like you think somebody might want them to be round robin, you just set the publisher priority to the same thing. Right. You give the subscriber full authority to say round robin or prefer this or prefer this. The, it's just a weird use case to say the publisher knows better and says this is always higher priority and the subscriber is like, no, round robin is what I want during congestion. It's just a weird use case. Um, I, I, I get you, um, but I just think you can just fix that pretty easily on the publisher side. Don't have a yeah. um, Okay. Um, I mean, I think the, the reason why, like HTTP has round robin and the reason, but it's described as this incremental, it's supposed to be described in like how your consumer consumes the data. Does your consumer need some kind of atom to be able to make progress? If so, you never want to round robin that thing because then everyone's just getting poor experience in congestion, right? But if your receiver can process that thing in an incremental way, then it may, then, you, then, then that is the one limited use case where you actually might want round robin during congestion because you're making a little bit of marginal progress in a bunch of things and you, you, you might actually want that. So the question, I guess, is like, do we, is there ever, we're still in this, like, is there a case where like a publisher says like, or, or a client thinks it can consume things in an incremental way, two tracks, and it wants them equally, but the publisher just said like, I would like to break ties this way. Um, and I think it may be a little bit of a stretch, but I also think that it may not, break anything if we do it if you just i mean i think sort of what i believe christian said a little bit ago is like you could just have a marker in the priority so instead of just an integer it's an integer and a flag or you do odds and evens or something which is like this is my subscriber priority and i'll let the publisher break ties or this is my subscriber priority and i don't want the publisher to break ties can right? i jump to queue because i was going to ask exactly about that. Yeah. Jump up just once. i think this is an important point um the incremental flag and in, it's badly named but it's basically serial or parallel. parallel. How does it consume? You, you want these things, forget consumers or whatever. It's about, do I send these things serially or do I send these things in parallel? It's a allow parallelism. Mm -hmm. And and it, it, it's described in the context of JPEG, you know, incremental 
uh, you know, prog progressive updates to an uh, image, but there are many, many different types of use cases where you want serial because of dependencies or you want parallel because there are no dependencies. And I think it's an important thing for us to capture. And I don't know if it's enough for us to capture that with just equal priority. If equal priority infers parallel, I think we should be explicit in the spec that says equal priority means you will get parallel. It will actually cause the objects to flip flop between them, not one person dominating that priority queue. So if we don't have another signal that says allow parallel, I think we need to specify that equal will always end up being parallel and round robins are all of the objects, all of the tracks. Yeah, we've only talked about selecting a track. We haven't talked about how much yeah. send from that. Don't go there. Is this my done yet? Yeah. Um, okay. 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 So I, I, I do want to I do want to quickly ask, like, does anyone else share Will's use case at this point? I think it was just what Mo said is you, you want to wrap round robin is is parallel downwards, right? You That's what I, I want. This. You want to specify. I just want to want to figure out how to structure this because like everyone gets willed and like will you get. I mean, I, I I think it's, that's important. The idea that we can add this and it won't hurt anybody. So the question is like, okay. will it maybe a different way? Like, will it break you if we add something like that? Because you can always just you not specify. Know. I think I don't know. So I don't completely understand what's use case. Hang on. I mean, I mean, I mean conflict. All right. Can we please go back to the line? Because I'm trying to be respectful of the line uh, okay. or the queue or whatever. I don't I don't want to invoke. Okay, but let, let's let's make sure we're staying on the question we asked here, okay? Which is about the use case, not all over the place. But on stage. So, so we're specifically state arguing state about state whether or not we need the subscriber override to enforce equal oh, priority. Is in the queue if you don't have them. Oh you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't want to I will not invoke queuing theory here. But I want to go back to MM1 queues because ultimately this is a serial fucking link. Unless you provide me with parallel links and parallel processes, everything is happening serially quantized. So it gives you the illusion of parallel. But the whole point of priorities, so the difference between having something between priorities and lack of priorities is not that you get one after the other versus parallel. It's one after the other versus I don't fucking know what. That's the key thing here. You don't know that it's going to be round robin. You don't know what the quantum of sending is going to be. You give up control when you say, I do not care how a sender operates in relation to, to these multiple tracks. What you were saying, round robin is not a requirement in this thing, is it? And if it is, we're not going to make a requirement of if there's no priorities, equal priorities must be treated with deficit round robin and various other things. You're not going to say that. If you're not going to say that, you're leaving it up to the sender how it decides to send. I don't know how HTTP says it, but that's how our implementation works when you send the incremental flag in HTTP. I, I'm, I'm saying that unless we specify that, behaviors will be different across implementations. If you want to go down that path, that's fine. But I'm saying that, that without actually, the whole point of priorities is to be able to expressly say how a sender schedules stuff on the wire. Otherwise, you give up control to the sender to do whatever it does. So what I'm trying to say here, going back to the point of uh, client being wanting to preferentially express equal priorities, it doesn't end up saying that they should be round robin. It just says that I don't care what you do between these two things. That's okay. what all this means. If, yeah. if you have, if you have, if you have a single processor that's processing multiple queues, and you say they're equal queues, unless you specify what you should do under equal queues. You're saying I don't care what you do. I'm going to yes, do I do care what you do. I want you to. Then do you have to specify that. Best effort to make them as equal as you can. So and you I understand you've got to multiplex them into a serial pipe. In terms of behavior, you, have, you cannot. You so, cannot control what the so behavior. This, of this, this proposal says that when it's equal, you you based on arrival. You're fine. Quite the opposite. Okay. That's equal. That's not then that. That's definitely not round robin. Just to be very clear, yeah. Yeah. round robin implies some amount of discrete fair queuing. Yeah. FIFO is absolutely not that. Right. So, 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 what does that mean? I'm sorry. I said in the yeah. queue. The, 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 the first byte of the object or the first header of the object. You mean there's an API send when the API send is being called, not on arrival like an object being received uh, to pass a relay. Yeah, yeah, yeah the relay. It's the receipt at the relay. Yeah, but this, this is so. This is only for receipt at a relay when the object arrives. That's what you mean by arrival. That's what we're not talking There's cash, too. Obviously, we need to wait this so it works for policy. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. well, a good point. No, that that doesn't make any sense because we're talking about sending. That object may never go anywhere. The received objects may never go anywhere, right? 
They make smart or whatever. So look, we are way off the topic of <laughs> this one question, which is about does Will's use case make sense? Yeah. That's what we're talking about. Yeah. Okay, let's get to the all right. Um I, I think so first I think Will's use case makes sense. Um I don't and I, I can give you a simple example. However, I don't, don't actually think it matters whether we allow people to express exactly equal priorities or not, because I'm not going to implement that anyway. Yeah. Right. So like, this is what it comes down to. So like, say I have audio and video and like, I can either make them and I want them to like stay in sync or like, or two videos is actually a very good example of what we said. Okay. So I have my jitter buffer and if I have strict prioritization and suddenly like I have, um, you know, my, you know, I turn my microwave on my Wi-Fi turns off for like a second or something. And like suddenly I burn through a bunch of my buffer. Um, if I have strict prioritization, potentially the relay might just fill the entire pipe with only one video. And now I have plenty of one video, but like not enough video of both. Whereas if it like kind of did something reasonable, like I wouldn't rebuffer for either and everything would be fine. Which is kind of like the behavior I would like. And this works similarly for audio as well, audio and video, where like, yes, I want the audio more than I want the video, but like I would kind of just want both of them. Can you just do that? And so I think like even if the, you give me strict priorities as a relay, what I'm gonna do is gonna be like, I'm pretty sure I can get enough data to you in time for your time for your like delivery timeout that like you'll be fine and you won't rebuffer. I'm just going to do whatever I want. But thank you for the information. <laughs> like now that you've given me a delivery time out of a second, as long as I'm sure that I can make sure that I get everything to you in the time frame that you specify and plenty of time for you to play it back, I'm going to do that. And so, yes, I'm going to preferentially give you the thing you put higher priority first. But if I can get them both to you, I'd rather get both all of both of them to you. That's my objective function, is, right? I want to get all of the data you requested to you with no gaps within the specified like delivery timeout. I think that's the objective function of relay probably is going to optimize for because that's like what a player wants approximately. And so I'm user. probably going to end up doing that. And so like the information going into the system is just feeding into the algorithm. Well, yeah, so okay. the, the use case was a Apple Vision Pro headset with the left eye and the right eye coming in on my tracks, right? I, I, I have to sync them because they're part of a VR experience. You really want to send them on the same street. And the publisher said, get on aside, the aside from that. <laughs> I can demo this for, this for you on that headset. <laughs> yes, I would rather have both of them rebuffer than get all at one. It does me no good when I just get the left eye or just get the right eye. So I want you to try your best to send me both and i can do okay but before yeah. we go through the whole queue is there anybody in this queue that is persuadable on whether they think that this is a use case or not because if not we can skip the queue and just vote or and, and take a show but, hands. No, I, I, on this use case i think i'll be quick when we get to me but yeah, yeah. i mean but if you're trying to are you persuadable if the answer is no and if nobody is persuadable then we don't need to talk we can just vote. <laughs> you asked a quick question before though like is i mean is having the ability to make it equal. I mean, I don't really care. Like, I, I think it's fine to make them equal, but like, is it going to break every, anyone if we allow it to be equal? The experience of blank will break, does it? I don't know, like, if you just have, have like an override mean. flag, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's easy to spell. So, an override flag, like, ignore your producer, your published priorities. Yeah. Um, you, you said it earlier, though. If they're equal, what are you going to do? You do I mean, one, do you do yeah, one. You're going to send one over the other. Anyway, would anybody does anybody feel like it would be okay to get a show of hands now, which doesn't mean we're gonna end debate, but to get a sense of the room of how close can, can we can we give Lucas a chance because yeah. okay, yeah. Debate. So uh, Lucas, why don't you go and then maybe we'll maybe we'll do that and not go around anymore. Okay, my, my time to live with my comment might be expired, but I'm gonna ignore the first, the first <laughs> step there. Um, so I, I, I just want to refute the, the, the incremental comment from Mo. Like the point, and I think Ian just touched on it. Then is that it's about the the client intent. What are they trying to do? Yes, of course, it has a reflection on the scheduling, which might turn into round robining or concurrency or whatever. But like the client intent might not match other information that they know. Uh, I don't think that's a thing in mock. But for example, the the client won't know that we're going to serve a progressive image or not. That's kind of due to content negotiation. That's a server side thing. Um, Mock has catalogs, et cetera. So maybe some of those issues don't exist. But um, you know, the the intent in Mock is I need this this piece of information within some latency threshold. 
uh, do whatever you want. I, I, vaguely, I think this one's more important. But if you could do either, I don't. I don't really care. I, I'm not going to check the order that you send things in as long as you satisfy this other requirement. Um, so I think that's an important property, really. Um, and as a relay, I'd probably be more inclined to try and do that thing too. Uh, but the the other point to pick up on Will's download comment, like that was an actual uh, bug and a ticket I had to work through with a customer um, where uh, we the default was FIFO and they were trying to download two large uh, video files on the same connection and it elicited a bug in the browser where we click two download links next to each other and one wouldn't trigger until the download had actually started because it needed some metadata to come back for the headers. Um, and so you're prioritizing stream data here, not, not just HP headers or data. Um, that was annoying because the user would click the download button multiple times thinking that the c computer had frozen, which would then trigger like n number of downloads. And you would sit there waiting for the first download to trigger and then, and then they kind of all would spring to life, and you get multiple pop-up windows. Like it completely didn't meet user expectation, and took like weeks of, of finally getting through to the engineering to figure out what that problem was, um, just because they didn't set the incremental flag. And, and that's a browser thing. Like the, the the way downloads work are browsers. It probably doesn't matter with Mock because you're going to have JavaScript-driven apps. It's fine. Uh, but by using a server-side override. We were able to fix that issue. Like I just put some code in server side JavaScript that just said if the if the if this is like a download disposition, always set the incremental flag and then we can run Robin them in our scheduler. So I know that probably doesn't help this discussion much, but I like this stuff isn't all academic. Like I do have other anecdotes where stuff like this can happen. Okay, so we're, we're going to pause it for a minute. I'm not erasing the queue because I just think they're, they're, they're going to get sense through now. Yeah. If you think Will's use case, if you think there's a use case, how you, so who wants to phrase this question? Do you think there's a use case where? Here, let me try and phrase it. Go, go for it. We, we have a use case where the subscriber knows what it wants to do, it wants to set these things as equal. Okay. The subscriber knows that it wants to make them equal. And the publisher has explicitly already made them not equal. And I think that that's the weak part of this use case, is I think that in the download case, the publisher is going to already have put them in. Okay, equal, so right? should we support <laughs> allowing the subscriber to override, a subscriber equal to override a publisher not equal? Is that a well, I, I, can, I, can I say something different? Okay, yeah. Who thinks that, who has a use case or expects to have a use case where they would find this useful in a moment? I think. Um, I mean, I assume you do, or else I don't know what we're doing here. <laughs> but I mean, you 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 think the publisher I, I think would have not said, 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 the, I said I want this over that. I think the publisher should have set them equal. If in my use case, the left right. and right eye, yes, it should set the publisher yeah. to set them equal. I'm, but that doesn't like, matter. Like, like, I, 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 I assure you, the you left and right eye yeah. is not going to work like this. Let me just say, I implemented this deeply. It, it does matter if the publisher says or not, because that's the whole point of this. The premise is that the publisher has said that one is better than the other, and one is higher priority than the other, and the subscriber is trying to override that. Okay, I am personally, I'm okay with if you ask for them equal, and then we use the publisher to type right. My question is, what if the publishers also said they're equal? Now, no, how equal? equal. And then we can use. I think it's going to be awesome. I thought that was a scope. Let's have the download. Yeah, we got one there. Yeah, isn't that fun? Yeah. Okay. So, if we are we just is it that nobody has use case? Should we just say? No, no. I think it's. I'm saying if if there's multiple publishers and a subscriber is grabbing, have that from all of those publishers. Okay. I don't understand what these subscribers, these priorities are scope to one publisher. We have the entire. Okay. Let's say within a single, let's say within a single publisher then, and, yeah. and narrow that. Does anybody have use case for that? If the answer is no, we'll just we table it. We can always bring back more data if somebody has a use case later. I, I mean, I kind of think that sure. we should, but I don't have a use case. <laughs> yeah. I mean, maybe I don't know. So, so, so going yeah, so it's like it's like going back to the left consensus discussion we had yesterday. <laughs> Like if, after all this wailing on this use case, if there are two or three people like, yeah, I really need this use case. And I think the question comes, what are, are we breaking anything else? But it, it, it seems like, seems like you could probably make this work with 
We're, we're, we're breaking the construct that the client's preference overrides the, I agree the publisher. Agree yeah, but that's not the that's not, that's not, that's not It's case. not something as a principle. No, 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 that's not the case that I think blood and water also have a recorder. If there are priorities and there's a problem with bandwidth, then the recorder still wants to wait as long as it takes to get everything. But if the publisher modulated the priorities so that real-time clients get their audio and, and they may skip the video every you know five seconds, but the recorder wants everything. And if it lets the priorities dictate things, then it'll get almost all of the audio, of course, hours of audio before it gets a few minutes of video. So do you want to take up the man from Will and fight this corner? Or just important enough to you to spend another 30 minutes on? Or do you want to hurt? Like, I mean, I, I mean, I'm not, it's not like a, I don't think I'm going to implement a recorder that needs that, but I could see the case yeah. where okay. a recorder would want can... to equalize the priorities yeah. because it wants the objects in order, not, not across no, different tracks. They don't. Yeah, it, so, it, so it, it will work do that by doing range like requesting range of objects. Mm -hmm. you know, this was from audio, this was from like yeah. 10 seconds here, 10 seconds there, 10 seconds here, 10 seconds there. But look, I, I want to say that this is one of the least important points yeah. in all yeah. of these slides. Yeah. <laughs> we could pick either option on this and everyone could live with it, is what I hear. I, right? Yeah. So I'd like us to pick one to a certain degree, at least as something Ian can put in the draft for now. We can yeah. change it later, you know, the usual things. Okay. But like, we got much more bigger I, fish to fry. I, I agree. We can easily come back and change this later. So let's yeah. just. I think since there's not a strong people are like I've got to have this or my thing's gonna break. Let's just go without it for yep. now. Okay. And yeah. which is like if any of these people in the queue really need to say something, or are we happy with that? Okay. So the, they can make an example. Okay. Let me right. make sure I know what the exactly yeah. 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 What's the yeah. decision? What are yeah. the issues? I need to not. The decision is to go with something where there is always strict rankings. You no, know? I think it's just if there's a if there's a subscriber tie. Publisher wins, which is what's written here. Ian, think yeah. of it as the lower bits, upper bits. Oh, that's, that's what I was trying to figure out. Is, yeah. it, is it the append approach or is it the replace approach? I, I think it's the append approach. It's the append approach. Append not replaced because okay. you could have different number spaces and, and get well, it. Oh, I can write that. Now, for the good mind, that's what I'm saying. For the we're saying if the subscriber variety uh, overlaps, then, then, then publisher basically. Subscriber equal publisher wins, which is risk. Isn't that what's written? Yeah. 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 Subscriber variety. Yeah. Um, do people want to take a short break yeah, right now and then circle back? Well, lunch is coming in 40 minutes. Okay. Actually, we should check with I'm going to use the maybe yeah. in 40 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm I'm nominating a self break. Can I borrow your badge so I can get back in? Or no, no. I'm going to go with the two. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> yeah, five, uh, yeah, five minute break. You guys are okay. <laughs> They were just walking yeah, out. <laughs> you couldn't have stopped the 10 five minute break if you. <laughs> I didn't see anything happening in here. Give me one second here. Like What's that? It's a shell show, you have to. What did it say again? This is a device with this. Um... This is a, it's a battery. Oh, it's oh, also a trickle. Magnetic. Oh. Magnetic. Oh. Exactly. I am. Um, <laughs> The nice thing I was also going to be his chair, and I actually so usually I, I don't care. <laughs> I, I I really don't care. I just want to come to a solution. I really don't care what it is, but I have no use case. It's kind of something. Well, no, I mean, a lot of people care. You know, Everybody, no, no, everybody's was all over the place. That's not that's yeah. not good enough. You know, everybody, 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 yeah. everybody is doing it anyway. No, no, no. But, but like, my can... point, my, my point here, though, is sorry, just to say that I I, I want to be. I've seen this happen again and again, which yeah. is that people believe equal to be something special. Yes. And I would say that equal is not actually special. Equal means that you're giving up control. Yeah. And that's that's the piece that without specifying what equal means from a center's perspective, you are simply saying, well, whatever the fuck you'll do when you have equality. And everybody will do something different. Yeah. Ian's gonna look at the deadlines and decide that, well, both of these objects will get there anyway. So I'll just put one object in front of the other one. Uh, um, Alan's going to sit and do dynamic double draw round robin perhaps across something. Otherwise, it's going to be FIFO. It doesn't mean it's not going to be FIFO anyway. It's going to be some. Well, the point is that equal, equal, equal has this uh, suggests something here, which I think is a problem. And I've seen, again, like I said, I've seen this happen repeatedly, and people then realize, oh, that buffer's too deep for equal to actually be equal. Like that's always the case because you're looking ultimately at a serial line, and you're going to put things into some buffer. That's going to end up serializing your shit, and so 
you know, I, I told I, I totally get what you're saying, and it makes sense. And I think even after you said it, a bunch of people were still like didn't you know what you're saying. Right? We're still right, on the right. uh, we, look, everybody knows that that's right. Yeah. I think in the discussion, what kind of uh, puzzles me is that people that are going kind of assume that you have the object there. The other one there? And the, the object, object, the object yeah. out there have arrived. Equal buffer, buffer, equal amount of data buffer. Over yeah. yeah. And uh, in the case of the relay, that's quite untrue. And it's only during congestion, yeah. If, if, if you receive like Sorry, uh, incoming at 11 30. Uh, I just sent a question about that. I think it is. I, I seem to recall. Look, I have a vague memory that people told me I'd be here at 11 30, but I forget. So I just asked the person who might actually know. So in, in, the, in the relay, if you receive a thousand bytes of a 10,000 object, you're going to forward it, those 10,000 bytes as soon as you can. Yeah, absolutely yeah. should do that. Yeah. The right answer. Yeah. And so you need the priority to be set before the object arrives. I mean, you want, you want it to be set if you are going to have it. Well, the, the only oh, okay. on setting it, though. So, so the only, the, I mean, I, in the next slide that Will was going to talk about, example actually makes this clear. I mean, like, obviously, the only things you can send are things that you've received. Yeah, and everything that you've received, you know the priority of it. You know both the publisher and the subscriber. Because priority of it. you know, yeah. you know the truck. Because it's not sent yeah. in the subscribe okay, which is a much later slide. <laughs> I mean, you're going to okay, well, <laughs> for debate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. but we'll, we'll get to that. But if you send in the subscribe okay, you don't know it in time. It's the problem. Same problem. It becomes right. undefined, and that's kind of the thing so, with so, priority. The, the, the it's undefined. undefined. The point is that it's so okay. Like you've got to have it's some okay, you round robbing it. You hold that, you get the announce message, which is by next space. You already have to. You might get one. So, so the proposal here, so later we're jumping in way ahead, but the proposal is to put it in the stream header. So every time you, you open a new every time you start a stream, you convey the priority of the objects that we said now. But it has to be equal, right? Like you can't just change the track priority to Ian's point on a way of money stream. If you can, that's the, you can in the current, I mean the way. And in the current proposal. We'll, okay, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll talk, talk we'll, we'll, we'll about that. That's what I meant. That's what I meant. Yes, I will say that. What it's actually a common behavior. Whether you can change the priority. It's a common behavior that's why it's separate. Like if like I, the public, uh, switches to group yeah. number two, yeah. I'm going to yeah. put down the priority of group number one because yeah. I yeah. want yeah. to yeah. delete an object. I might. I might. It may be another object. Track priority. Nothing about the priority. You know, some of it's different. That's the new track priority. But it's matching that by speed. But we, I guess, I don't know if we're ever using the word track or group priority. I was saying something. Publisher priority is subscriber priority. This is true. It's not useful. No, no. Now that this track is, I don't know. There is no point of like updating the priority. This is like track, of course. It's just for this. And that's very confusing. It's one thing that is. Routine. You're selecting the object based upon yeah. the track which it belongs to. Yeah. Yeah. This is an object. Well, that's like the most public end TTL right now. I mean, that's, that's like the most public thing. That's the point. Somebody complains, like, if somebody is, like, is streaming and this is, like, illegal content, then you would like to crash it from all the release. If what you're saying is true, but that's what it's like, I would think, you know, Pocahontas. So the police is not going to end up against it. If that's true, it's going to be very interesting. Some control signal in the moment that should be uh, we're 100 percent all agree you can change the subscriber's priority of a track while you're emitting that is the use case right it's like okay. Okay. so we're already building a model that's it's fine though it's i guess what you're saying is like yeah i'm not talking about that's just that you didn't realize that i was thinking we lost the next thing they clearly living and they clearly work with this algorithm yeah, it's kind of like some need to explain clearly that I guess we would touch on some max castration as well. When there are multiple yeah. objects like all from the same track in the queue, we're going to have three times the past. You know, your picture is pretty much the same. Yeah, we should go there. 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 Yeah, no, yeah. The, just push the data and what's the like, in the end. Yeah, only talk about your yeah, yeah, sure What you know. do is the, the algorithm on this page selects a track, a set, a set of tracks, so I don't really know. Uh, rank tracks. Yeah. Then from the rank tracks, it selects a track. And then from the track, it oh, takes a group. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Sorry, Sorry Grunch is still wondering if we're done. If we're ready to start again. It's just another point. So the subscribe said there's a cost one judge. I think there's just a break for me. This is like a subscribe. It's 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 like a subscribe. I know that is the example Ian drew on the board. Yes, there. we understand yeah. that. But like, but but just as an, all I'm saying as a starting point is realize we are always changing the, the, the priority standard by yeah, like changing the subscriber priority. Yeah, that's right. our basic use case is to support that. Uh, it, it is it is explicitly yeah. tracked there on the list. Okay, the problem for later. There's no such thing as a track priority. I mean, there's awesome. a subscriber priority. And there is a public, yeah, but it's express it's, 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 it's per track, you know. No, no, no. There are two priorities, and the subscriber yeah. priority is is, is is expressed per track, but it can change the thing time. But it's a, so I mean, so well, what you don't get anyone, there's a lot of people. Please don't, please, please don't use that terminology. It's so confusing because it's it is priority that is requested by the subscriber on a track. Necessary because that, yes, yes. I, I just want to make sure that the unit of the because that they're doing I get that. I get that. I'm just saying that I'm thinking about the yes, unit here, not about who's asking for the bill. Yeah, but so I get that one is on that, people unit, right? People want to pay that. Okay, right. so that well, doesn't mean it's always the same for the track. Yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's yeah. done. That's perfect. Yeah. Right. Okay, right. okay. And, so and I think the publisher should be able to update priorities. We can discuss that. Right. And your proposal is you put it in the stream, the most stream recent header. stream header, the most recent publisher priority. The stream Does that make sense? Yeah, speaking. roughly speaking. Stream More yeah. yeah, for each stream. So you look at like what's a stream? Each, what's a stream? For for uh for each group, but each object. So we should you know, put it on a quick thing in the stream here. Yes, quick stream. You, you identify the quick stream. Yes, each quick stream would maintain a track ID, which would you tell you might do the most recent publisher priority. Communicated as a group. <laughs> so look, we got some slides on this later, okay. so we're sort of jumping yeah, all over the place. But yeah, there's a different way to. It's, this is a little, it's kind of like a little bit of budget. You're trying to fix the race condition with subscribe. Okay, right? Subscribe. Okay, can tell you track properties, and you can just put the publisher priority in there. Right? That's a little racy. And then what happens if you get some objects before you get the subscribe? Okay. Yeah. And, and that undefined how the, publisher how you, the publisher's priority would be, which I think is fine if it's undefined for like an RTT. Well, she went to the um, public. No, it's the most important RTT. Is but the problem, the problem yeah. I think, yeah. is you allow trying to get arbitrary on the extreme, it's happened. Well, well, if it was always no, the same value, it would be easy. Easy. Right. Right. keep saying stream, but a track can All right, we're starting again. We'll see the proposal, but. Yeah, no, I think if you're looking at the board, let me swap for the two of you. Oh, no, so let's we just say we're doing streams for group. <laughs> now we can change it on each group. Okay, you're not done. Then there's no group. Yeah, I don't want to go to the end because the priorities here applies to tracks and groups and objects. Okay, we're going to start up again at this stream mode. Starting again. Yeah, it shouldn't be. It should be safe. Close. Starting again. But we don't know what we talk about. So. So, so, so we, so we've got, we, we've got the track people. thing, right? The track so, thing is. Given we've done the first bullet point on this slide, I'd like to move on to the second. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're through three, right? No. Yeah. Okay. okay. So you guys, you guys know what to do to write a PR for that, right? Yeah. That's great. Yeah. And then, Excellent. And then, okay. Yeah. That is progress, gentlemen. Let's keep, let's keep going. Okay. So, um, look, in the, the first bullet <laughs> point. That that gives you a ranking of the tracks. When we were writing this text, we're trying to avoid, you know, using the higher and lower priority and determining because we figured there's later slides on that. But you sort of know what I mean of the most important thing gets used. So this helps us figure out which track we think is currently the one we should send an object from next. Now, within that selected track, we're going to pick which group to, cho to choose based on the group ID. And we have in the subscribe message, the subscribing send order, which is either ascending or descending. And based on whether that's ascending or descending, we pick either the lowest group ID we have laying around or the highest group ID we have hanging around. And uh, we're gonna send something out of that group ID. Is that clear how we pick the group ID inside the track? I don't, I don't think this is highly controversial. Um, wait, wait, you need this question? Um, I do have one question, but the, the newest version, um, if I'm halfway through a group, sending a group and I get something even a newer group 
do I immediately like at what no. point do I stop sending the yield group if at all? It, the, when it turns out. So you would so what when you when right. you when you came through to run this out so so, so you, you, you you'd sent object twenty two right. and now there's a new group that's this bigger right. and you run through so the next time you're you're going to go send something you're running through sort of these steps and um, even though you've already sent some objects in an old group the, this algorithm is going to push you into sending the newest group you, you, you know. Okay. If you've hit ascending, you're going to send the latest group. Okay. And so if you ran, and so let's say you only had one thing in the new group, you sent it, that's great. And now the next time you come through this, it's empty, you'll go back to the old one. Or if you just keep having new things in the new group, you're never really going to get to this group and it'll eventually time out. Luke, sure. Luke is that made that's meeting your expectation? Exactly. Okay. So are, are the, are the stuff the latest right? before the previous? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I basically. imagine most right. people, lots, I think yeah. lots of people that will use good. descending. But I think, yeah. Okay. Can you, can, you, can you summarize that again? I'm getting confused about something. Well, don't take all the yeah. slides on that when we're going to get to You have a picture that's going to nail this with yeah. ending and saying. Okay. Yeah. Can I, can I defer that question and we'll come to Will's slide here? Yeah. So then within the selected group, um, you, you know, you send the, 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 the smallest object ID you haven't sent. So this, the only point I'm really making here is regardless of whether you're in an ascending or descending mode, you always send the objects in order. I think everybody within, agreed a, group. On the, within a group, right? Yeah, that seems reasonable. Same, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Um, uh, uh, okay, so uh, the, so these things I have written here on the, the very last bullet, okay, okay, the in subscriber delivery preference ascending, uh, whatever, send, whether something's with a default is just like yeah, holding yeah, on yeah. the wire, it doesn't matter, yeah. Uh, I should what, have what question should be uh, capture what happens within a track as a decision point? Because I didn't hear it. Well, uh, well, we'll get there. Okay, so does that conclude this? No, uh, I want to talk about this last point here a little okay. bit here, which I, okay. I think I, I don't think I have it quite right on the slide, first of all, okay, so. Okay. Um, the subscriber priority and end subscriber delivery pref i wrote only go from the subscriber to the first relay publisher and i don't think that that and they're not aggregated and i don't think that's the right way of phrasing i will have a much better way of phrasing it are you trying to get the curious question? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 like sucks out yeah that. so <laughs> no firstly we're not calling it end subscribers to subscriber delivery print because it's per box we should change that mm -hmm. your there is only one original publisher of the content that preference gets propagated up the delivery chain all the way to the end subscriber mm -hmm. the subscriber preference is only per hop it gets it doesn't propagate beyond the hop at which it's made. so every subscriber chooses every subscriber re rechooses something the but when you're publishing content you must replicate the original the original publishers uh priority forward to all future <laughs> just, okay before we clarify on that and let me just add a little bit to it it's like i think that like in one of your slides too we there's probably some cases where so we're, we're saying that a relay doesn't you know propagate this up in its subscriptions and i think that what we have that well a good point will had is we're just going to write that as a should in the spec like there might be special cases where the relay has a reason why it knows it wants to take it downstream prep and escalate it up, particularly if it was a relay that was only serving a single client or something like yeah. that. But like for conceptually, for the most part, it doesn't propagate upstream. Okay, right? blue can see Okay, this. and now we can queue on this. Yeah, and just to clarify yeah. from this slide, there is a publisher sending order that is conveyed on the wire. All the yes. way. Yeah, yeah. 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 publisher. Yeah. 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 Well, original that's, publisher. That's right the original, right. no, that's, 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 that's right. many publishers. It's, yeah. it's the what standard order in the right. field already. Yeah, no, that's, that's for tracks. Now. That's for tracks. That's, that's priority. We yeah. just keep the starting point on this is it removes everything that's currently in section four is gone from the yeah. draft. Okay. So anything you think is there, because none of that happens. Four. That's the whole point. Everything with yeah. properties, yeah. properties, send orders, priorities, all no, send orders. Yeah. No this replaces send. everything that is marked as no consensus in the draft. Okay. In <laughs> section four. And that is, I have a question, which is what is oh the priority? Where is the so I think I understand where a subscriber is going to put priority, which is in subscribe or subscribe update. Yeah. Uh, but we got slides okay, on this. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I guess, I want to know where does original publisher priority go if it replaces everything in the draft? Yeah. Can you the last sentence again? It's, it's clear as written, or Will had something different? I, will had, I, will, I said it, the prep will only go to the first relay, and that relay won't propagate it. Yeah. 
and he changed it to it I say should not propagate. Relays it's aggregating dissimilar subscriber priority preferences should indicate no preference when making an upstream subscription for the track. Okay, but they do subscribe and can modulate. Every products. subscriber must repeats the subscription. They're not obliged to 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 um, repeat what was given to them. Okay. Right, when you're cascading okay. subscription. Did you, did you, did we have clarifying questions before we start discussing? Right. Question, Subscribe, go. Yeah. So can you repeat what you just said? <laughs> Okay, let, let me try and phrase it a better better way here. Okay. Is there we have two values here of the subscriber send order and the subscriber priority. Okay, those are two things that the subscriber can send. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. um, they go to the, the the from the in subscriber they go to the first upstream relay. That upstream, that relay should not propagate them upstream. They generally just stop there. We can just remove all that text completely, right? Just say subscriber period and say these two things and no more text. And that would mean that any subscriber can do that, including relay. Yep. And, and it's its yep. own choice, right? Every subscriber chooses their own values. Yeah. The no, the really, no, that is want. definitely don't. What? No, that's, that's, that, no, that's that not at all what we want. Okay. We cannot have random re the, the relays can't just take any value they feel like and send it upstream the only value they can do is nothing no preference uh, I, I think I, I, think, I think the way okay hold on there was a subscribe subscribe question is it subscribe question I, I think uh between the cure color and will i think will had a thing that says i think uh, i'm going to put it in the chat or should i just share, share the just chat. put it in the chat because then you can copy paste it in the notes um okay luke's been in the queue for a while Which chat though just, just chat. Chat. for me i'm in black i'm in not slack <laughs> i'm gonna go in the, the okay, google the meet okay cool. so a mock chat session running right now the real the still how i to see you yeah, uh, I just put it in okay. the Google Meet chat. I can't see that. Yeah. So yeah. paste it into the Google. I got it. <laughs> yeah, I, I was like well, rewarded about though. Like, I don't know, and I don't know if people you're okay with it, but like, um, I would argue that a relay should not propagate a subscriber's. That's what uh, Colin said. Also, um, opposed to should should indicate no preference. I think may or may not be true so say i have a relay and i have like a thousand people subscribe to the same stream i might want to put that like at a higher priority because like you know cash fill of that is higher priority than like the one person subscribed like you know some it, you show can. and watches it's just a should right? yeah okay i think we should yeah should and relay is going to relay is going to get yeah all right that's right yeah. there... oh excellent Hopefully. just a minute i'm going to hand the phone to somebody else can you run? Can, can somebody with a Cisco badge go? Who's here? Ready to go? Is there like uh, are you at twelve floor three? Yeah, it was lunch. Lunch. Oh, lunch. 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 Yeah, that's that's a high priority. priority. That's a high priority interrupt right there. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. But, so a question. Oh, on. Hold on. There's a queue. There's yeah. Luke, Luke, did you get everything you needed to ask? Yeah. Yeah. Right now. I'm just trying to. I just copied what Will had, and I just, I want to know if everyone thinks that okay at some point. But yeah. Okay. Okay. Then I have Luke, and then Victor, and then John. Yeah, I, I think for deduplicating, like it's good practice. You know, a relay should do the default priority. But like when we talk about relays, there's proxies. There's a bunch of different scenarios. Like, you know, the, the relay could be on a cruise ship or something, and it, it would want to definitely do use special. the order there because it's the congested link. It, so I, I think just don't add any text here. <laughs> you know, honestly, like yeah, it's a normative. Like this is what relays should do to deduplicate. But like, don't say a must. Don't even say it should. It's still strong. Relays aggregate. We could have considerations or something. Yeah, it's considerations. Like if you're building a relay that deduplicates subscriptions, don't let them, you I know, mean, one person override everybody else. Everybody who's written a system like this bleaches the priority in the upstream link. <laughs> Nobody sends it already. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't matter what we say, no one's gonna send it. So do we clarify <laughs> exactly? Yeah. <laughs> okay, sorry. Okay. Uh Luke, is there more you want to say or you got it? No, that's okay, wrong. Victor, John, Colin. No. What Lucas is in the queue, Jim? Yeah, oh, Lucas. And the other practical thing is like if you're a application provider and you run your own like ingest really, you'll probably know what to specify like to your publisher explicitly. Yeah. Before we like wail on so proponents, are you like 
Are you convinced that we could just like not have just have considerations in the normal text about this, or are we still fighting about it? Okay, so the the options are say nothing, yes. or say should or should not something. Right. Uh, does anybody care? Yeah, I mean, I, I I definitely think we need to say something here. You need that normal. And I'll word. explain why when I get okay. on the queue. All right, all right, okay. let's find it out. Go for it. Who's next? Okay, so can we keep that? Can we keep restrict the question to this? Say nothing. Or say should or like say say the language he just wrote up on the slide. Okay, it's the lowest line. Relays aggregating dissimilar subscriber preferences should indicate no preference. Making enough subscription from the track. Can, well, the, the high order bit here is like normative text or not normative text. Yeah, right. Normative text. So normative text, but along those lines. I mean, one way or the other. Sure. Right? Okay. I mean, is there some other normative thing that people want to see? Like you kind of, well, I don't know. I, I guess if you can flip this the other way on I should not. Do, Ian, do you want to have a refresh? Hold on, I'm just going to quick, just raise your hand if you, I think, okay, raise your hand if you do want normative text of this ilk or or can live with it. Or can live with it? Oh, I can live with it. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> are we dropping the line? Or I'm just, just, look, if we already agree, what do you want to talk about? Oh, I'm, I'm, <laughs> Asked a different question though. Yeah, you asked if you want normative language, and I said yes. What I'm saying here, what I want to say here is that this should be this should be broader than what it says there. It okay. should be always the case. Right. So yeah. just... And then is anybody like really wants there to be so there's anybody who really thinks are you said you didn't want normative language? Really... Flo didn't, I think, and he's doing doing the lunch. If, if, if I have one viewer, I just want that viewer's preference. Like if they happen to be a VOD the client. Go read the article. Serve them as a bot. You can do that, Luke. Should you should it means you can do whatever. Yeah. You want. <laughs> first smile would be served as a bot. First yeah. smile would be served as live. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. okay, hold on. So the queue. So it was Victor, then John, and then Lucas, and Colin, and let's say at some point. I yeah, know, uh, I hear there's something up. Well, yeah. it's like there is very Lucas. Yeah, uh, I think there's kind of very, to some extent, fairly thin difference between. It should with explanation and like lowercase should of explanation. Like the important thing is like because like you can't really put a must because they're how are you going to enforce it? Yeah. Uh, uh, the, like I think the important thing of the back is to convey how you should behave and why. And uh, it's like it's just like I don't think I think it's about providing guidance to implementation. And it sounds like people in the room like understand how this works, and we should document how this works. And I have a should if it's like narrow. But it's probably fine. Then. Okay. okay, John, did you have more to say? Um, yeah. I want to say that what we should we should specifically to the sentence there on the slide. You should cover all cases, not just the cases where it's dissimilar subscriber priority preferences that are arriving, because you want to prescribe behavior from the relay. Or across the board. Otherwise, you're going to have uh, again. You're going to leave yourself open to potentially strange uh, situations. So you want relays should indicate no preference. Yeah, yeah. Like a should is good enough. I mean, you can do whatever you, you want. You can do whatever you want. But but a should tells you what you do by default. Okay. Right. So it seems like wait wait. Lucas is probably going to. Lucas, you yeah. want to? Yeah, I just wanted to give like a plus one to uh, to considerations and adding more text here because like. I could live with a, a hard should or not, but like I just don't understand why. Like, and if it's too hard to understand, I'll just like copy or do exactly what it says, which might not result so, in in what we want. Um, so, uh, go on. Sorry, as a former AD, like a properly a properly written should has considerations with it on like why you would choose to yeah. ignore it, and you don't just say should and leave it blank. So like there will be considerations regardless. Please yes. continue, Lucas. I was just going to say, is this the only example where the relay needs to change some property of the thing it's sending upwards? Like, is there a more general way of approaching this class of thing? Um, I, I'm not familiar enough with the current. And it tech. might change the ranges or like, the subscribe priority. It, has to it, change. it changes everything it sends up. The, the yeah. subscribe up is inherently like top subscribes or oh, yeah. it's some dissimilar yeah. subscribes. That's what this is all about. Yeah. 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 Uh, okay, Lucas, is that all you are says? So, yep. Can yep. Say, you want to get in the queue or are you ADing? Uh, um, I kind of put my ID, ID hat on here. So, Priority. If, if that is the default thing, no preference, why we 
need to signal it at all. Because you want to signal with the relay sense downstream. Last mile. Last mile. You, you, we need it far. Yeah. So That's why I put one. aggregating because the end subscriber is not aggregating anything. It's the end node, right? But all other nodes in the middle of the chain, they are they are not end nodes. <laughs> so so the they, aggregating relay should indicate, yes. right? Yeah, that's the, the key. I want it's the language we took out. Yeah, it's it's a relay. Relay. That's yeah, a relay. Relay is not aggregating. Relay, 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 like, relay don't, don't have aggregate. They just are like whatever they like. Yeah. Uh, well, okay, if you're a one for one, being, okay, yeah, that that's that's my point. Like, yeah. if you're one for one, don't. I think that's I don't exactly this. this point. Yeah. Okay, you're next. Cut, cut, cut. Just like they're close to queue after Suha. Okay, so here's here's the thing that I worry about. So a very common implementation that a relay might do is if everybody subscribe gives me the same preference, I'll send that preference on up. Okay, and you can, you think about it for a minute. It's like, oh yeah, that could work really well, but the problem with it is. You got a person subscribed and they've got it happening one way going upstream and whatever the congestion in turns to be upstream of the relay then a second person joins with a different preference and now the relay has to propagate up a no preference yeah. and suddenly some other user joined the system and my experience changes and that is an impossibly difficult situation to explain to users when they phone your tack of like why that happened yeah. and what's going on it's very yeah, difficult to debug. even yeah. more they could be a thousand uses there one joins and, and everything changes. everything else yeah. so I, I i don't want to have i think we do need to say something in the relays i prefer this second text that i forget it was john or somebody wrote the the, the the very bottom line on the slide right now which no one can see because it's too small um that the relay should indicate no preference when making the upstream I, like that's the one i want now of course there's there's some cases where a relay is doing the right thing but i don't i think that in general the general relay sort of trying to dynamically switch this is going to be disastrous and you know luke you got a comment on like does that make sense well, okay. buy uh, Stu, I suppose, you anyway, if you look at this morning yeah i i i think we kind of to, to i think lucas mentioned it we should just have a section on how to aggregate multiple subscriptions because you need to change the priority too you need to change the order and in that case you should do it. If you're aggregating subscriptions, then do no preference. I, I agree with that. Totally buy your your yeah. no, like, okay. Okay. change. If you're not aggregating subscriptions, just set it upstream. Your you're proxy. Your proxy. Yeah, that, that's okay. so across the end of the queue. So yeah, you got does that? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Can we get that in the note for the note taker before we? Yeah, get on, two more. Two more points. Can I say my comment. One more. Can I say my comment? Is that okay? Yeah, clarifying question. Take the note. No, it's the end of the queue. Say your queue. Say your bit. Taking notes. I want to at least have some comments. Okay. Yes. A uh, relay would not know if it's an aggregating, uh, aggregating sub subscription based relay or not until a second subscription. Well, subscription. it knows it has code to aggregate. It knows <laughs> it can aggregate. Yeah. 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 Oh, but, 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 but what we're trying to say is that I, I agree in the sense that uh, we can make whenever relay tries to aggregate a subscription. My point is that how can we uh, enforce the thing that it will never aggregate a subscription so that hence you can forward it, what the NC should not forward it. There's no way to do it. And we get back to the same Cullen's point of there's one, one person on the relay. That's why everything goes fine, and so and we that really things are there's only one subscribe, and it's, it's a proxy in the home, and another person joins in, and then experience changes. Okay, I, so, um, you want to do a quick show of hands? Yeah, can we have? Yeah, I, I feel like we're converging on the second sentence um, with obviously additional considerations on should. They're like they're like there are two or three people that maybe prefer that, but would not die on this hill. Is that is that is there somebody? Seriously opposed to the second sentence. So you're saying okay. Some people, I think. Second sentence. Let me say. I, I think some people want the word aggregating, yeah. and some people don't. Is that no? Uh, whoa, no. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Sorry, no. I, I stepped out of the room and I missed the conversation about what happens for this case where you you're, you're have a thousand subscriptions. So the relay is making decisions. Its priority is is a view of its population. Its pri a publisher has only its own publications, so it's setting priorities based on its view of its own publications. A subscriber has a view of its subscriptions across multiple publishers, so its priorities depend on that view. A relay has a view of the population of subscribers, so its priorities should not really matter what the publisher or subscriber priorities. It has its own priorities because what's priority for it depends on its view, and it sees the entire population of subscribers. So they should be able to modify the priorities according to whatever it needs. Like a thousand subscribers, what do people answer for that? And they say, oh no, you you picked a one person's. No, I think that that's why that says that. But the, okay, I think the answer, we, we, while you were out, what happened, I think there was some discussion. 
and people were basically saying that like this this should is also like if you ever really and you have a really good reason why you want to set no prep then go ahead and do that yep. and what i'm saying is that the relay has a view of priority that's different from the view of publishers or subscribers i think everyone agrees with that so this relay should set the priority however it wants not forcing no prep and not echoing well there's no course here it's it's a point. Point. so the, the recommendation is no if you don't know what you're doing so no preference. Okay. But, but Mo's point is a rational relay would use no preference because it stops churn for a colored point. So it's Do we need that? to make it normative language to enforce yes. the should? Yeah. And I think Mo's saying you we don't need to do that. You don't enforce the should. It's in the relay's own interest that it does this. We're saying that the relays have a concept of priority that's different from the publisher's concept of priority and the subscriber's concept of priority. Why would, that, why would a subscriber override a publisher's priority? Because it has a different view of the world. A relay also has a different view. Its priorities are a different view than the publishers or the subscribers. This paying customer, we put John up. <laughs> you know that's going to happen, right? Yes. Good points. Yes. Just, <laughs> just two quick points. One, should is normative language that is a strong recommendation from the people in this room who are writing the spec to all the implementers in the world about what we believe is good default behavior unless you have a good reason to violate it. That's what it always is. There's no enforcement of this thing. This doesn't mean that this is what is required of everybody. This says that this is what we believe the right thing is. If you have a reason to do something smarter because you know that there's exactly one sub subscriber joining and no more, you can absolutely go to that. This doesn't stop you from doing that. This is the common case. This is the 95% case. And that's what we need to encode here. This doesn't stop anybody else from doing anything because there is no enforcement of this thing but it is documenting something that we believe to be the case. And I believe that this is one of the things that are actually going to make it to the security consideration as well. Eventually. I was actually going to ask if like, we just put this in security consideration. I think it's going to show up there. Yeah. yeah. So I, I mean, I think it just makes sense. And I think we should leave it there and I think we should move on. Okay. Anybody else? Uh, Christian, you, we have to, Andrew, where do you feel like John had nailed it? Okay. All right. Maybe I'm going to show of hands now. We've had more discussion on this. Okay. I just want to make sure that Mo's point is captured. It's captured now. Uh, Explain why this makes sense and acknowledge really may have its own view of priorities. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, um, what for the yeah, everyone, a quick show. <laughs> show, show of hands of who thinks this text is good. Close enough. <laughs> this, yeah, it's near enough. We got so many other slides. Yes. Even. This okay. Should be. I, I just All want right, to talk about yeah. for proxies at some point. Does anyone all. think yeah. this is? Yeah, so, like yeah. quite bad. I, I think we should write, I think we should define proxy the term in the draft. I think we should write up a little bit of text about that and nail it down. Because I, I just think the proxies are relays. That's the only, that's the only argument. Victor, do you think this is bad? Yes. Okay, do you think this is bad or is your, is, is your hand up? Does anyone think this is quite just, bad? We need to argue about it more. Sorry, we're looking only at the last sentence. Yeah, or, or, or can you live on Okay, excellent. So for no takers, we agree on this. All right. So the, the, the last sentence, I mean, what is that? That is like to do. That's to do for us on the working group or to do for the editor. Yeah, the editor. Yeah, okay. after what Mo said. So I, I, I mean, I, I think I know what to write at least to start, and I will try as much to capture okay. what has been said in the room. So we, so we wrap up on this relay thing. There were these other bullets about the ordering of ordering of groups inside a trap. Does anyone think this is bad? I think this has an open issue. Yeah. We're going to discuss a little bit later, which has to do with whether priorities can change publisher priorities can change for groups in a trap okay that's a, that's, that's a separate right. issue does anyone that's think that's this is bad yeah okay i don't see any hands I'm up in the so yeah. everyone, everyone was okay with so just to clarify we're talking about the ascending and descending order by groups yes within a group everything is in order i think everybody yeah. said not that's, that's, hit yeah. that. yep. do you think it's bad everything is yeah, it's okay yeah okay -ish. we have the mm -hmm. corner case that was on the on the document here uh -huh. which is the case where that rule does not quite capture what we want. And the corner case is when you have two tracks which end up having the same priorities, the square publisher, etc. And then you have group one, group two, group one, group two, uh, different priority for group one and different preferences for group one and group two. And uh, we have to be careful not to pick the wrong one. That's I think we have slides about that later. Yeah, we'll get yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Like, all right. So it's, it seems like this is basically approved. I, I do. I'll add one last thing because I was waiting for somebody else to say it. 
Uh, FIFO is just weird to prescribe. I think it should just be undefined. Like, if there's a tie, do what Ian said and just do whatever the hell you want. No, I think it's, it's you, you should, you, should like prescribe. you need to say something. It's based on receive order and you must yeah. send in the receive that's order. Because that's must. It's, no, it's for tracks as so well. Like, whoa. Like receive order for tracks. Okay. okay, so if you really want to break the, the job that what happens when I don't know, you can always set up a default value in the announce and space. Or in the subscribe Okay, hold space. on. So uh, there is no there is no equal anymore. Because I think we changed it. This slide was written back. They still the publisher priority saying equal. The publisher could say that. Oh. And you're doing a people based on tracks. Like, what does that mean? Does that mean the first scribe you got? No, the first object. No, it's the object. object order. I'll show you. Tracks. We have that the object object. Object. So we're not selecting tracks anymore. We're okay. selecting objects. You're yes. only no. selecting yeah. objects. Okay, when you track selections, there are multi each track has an oldest object, right? And whichever one is oldest of those oldest objects is the one that goes. Just, okay. I have a question about this because I don't, what does it mean for caches? And, or like, or is it only like really yeah. like 40 live things? Like, what is caches decoupled from this group? Okay. okay. Indifferent, right? But I just wonder how, what, how do you measure the <laughs> oldestness? If I had both things cached, what's the oldest? No, it's when they arrived in your congested queue. It's there. Oh, okay. When they queue. Okay. All right. Um, and you reorder. Victor and John, but I just want to make sure we know. So the only thing we're, where, where were you go before we go? Where were you going with it? You just want to move on to the next slide. No, well, I, I was trying to make sure that you could set this. And I, I actually had my own sort of meta clarifying question about like which 2119 word this all is. Is this a must or should? Um, about the last thing, about all of this? The whole thing. Okay. <laughs> um, let's let's, let's work, work roughly on the idea it's all a must for right now. Yeah. And when we see the PR written down, maybe we turn some up to a tuition. Okay, okay. Let's, okay. All right. Really I was forced priorities. Cool. I have no opinion on that. I just wanted to know. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we're just talking about what are we talking about? I don't know. We're, we're talking about uh, so Luke Luke says like, like versus 40 and, and versus we can move on. Like this is a really minor okay. point. Can we people. put a pin? Let's put maybe put yeah. a pin in FIFO. Is the queue about FIFO? That's a great song. Yeah. About, FIFO, but about the wording in general. This is worded as a relay uh, receiving objects. And I think it should be worded as the relay operation is a, a forwarding operation. I think it should be on the send leg of the forwarding operation because that's where it's detecting congestion. Nothing to do with the reception. I think it's awkward talking about reception. It should be talking no, about this is like, leg. It starts to send something. Leg. Transmission, that's what that's what the text should be. Mo, oh, Mo I 100% agree with you. What do we need to fix to make it that way? Because of how it's supposed yeah. to be. Anything about arrival, anything about about um, it's so, let me be good idea. Victor was, has been waiting to say something. Else. Yeah. So yeah. All right, we're going to close the queue after that, and we have a proposal. Oh, am I in the queue? Am I commenting on FIFA? What else do you want? Oh, well, I'm kind of commenting on FIFA and not implementing that. That's that's extremely difficult to implement. Okay. All right. Why don't we argue about why don't we argue about FIFA over lunch? Yeah. We got our sandwiches. So it was in the queue, but it's okay if you want to move past it. I can ask in the break. Let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. Please check the decisions that we made. On this okay, uh, remote people, we will be Western back in Western. roughly an hour, but we can't really just. No, you no, want us to turn them? No, no, because we're going to argue, so people might want to. Okay, if you want to listen to us argue with our mouths full, please stay tuned in. It's even an acknowledgement opens up condition window. Right, I will listen to the packets. Yeah, so I'm assuming that I don't know. Howard runs slide. Do we, if you have, if I can start to sell an object, and then I just like that, I even, you know, the 